Making phone calls. Making inquiries. Hello, how may I help you today? Hi, I would like to increase my internet data. I'll be glad to help you with that. What's your account number? I don't have my account number with me, but my phone number is 310-865-9274. All right. I see you use our mobile service. Yes, I also have a landline. According to my file, you are eligible for an upgrade to our new service. What does this new service include? It makes the internet connection twice as fast. That sounds perfect. Is there also a price increase? Yes, that will be $5 more per month. Sign me up right away. Asking for credit. Hello, how can I help you today? I'm very upset with the quality of your service. I'm sorry, what seems to be the problem? My internet service did not work for three days. My records say a technician visited your area yesterday. Yes, he installed a new modem. Did it solve the problem? Yes, but I was overcharged for internet service. Sorry about that. I'll give you a credit for the three days. I was sold wireless service unavailable in my area. I see it here. We charged you $5 extra a month. Yes. Kindly return my money, please. Disputing a charge. Hello. Is this the Smith residence? Yes, it is. May I ask who's calling? This is your bank calling in regards to an overcharge on your credit card. I'm sorry. There must be some mistake. It says here that you charged over $500 on it yesterday. That can't be right. I have not used it in months. Are you saying you did not make that charge? That is exactly what I am saying. Looking closer, this charge was made in a different city. I am looking for my card now, and I cannot find it. This calls for further investigation. I assure you, I did not make the purchase. Making an appointment. Hello, I'd like to schedule an appointment. Hello, what time would you like to come in? Well, I only like Jane cutting my hair. Jane comes in to work at 3 p.m. today. That sounds perfect. Sign me up. You'll be coming in for a haircut, yes? I'd also like to redo my highlights. That will be no problem. Can I have your name? My name is Sarah. All right, Sarah. We'll be expecting you. All right. Thank you. See you soon. Reporting a service problem. Hello. Please connect me to tech support. This is tech support. How may I help you? I'm having problems with my internet service. What seems to be the problem? None of my wireless devices are connecting to the Wi-Fi. I see. Have you tried disconnecting and reconnecting the modem? No. How do I do that? Simply unplug the modem for 15 seconds. All right. I plugged it in and again. Are all the lights back on on the modem? Yes, they're all green. Your devices should be able to connect easily now. Oh, they're working perfectly. Thank you. Calling credit card company. Hi, I would like to know my credit balance. Of course. May I have your credit card number? Yes, it's 512-879-346. My name is John. All right, John. You currently have no dues on your credit card. Really? I finally paid it off? Yes, sir. Your balance is officially zero. I must admit, I'm proud of myself. Is there anything else you'd like me to check, sir? Yes. Can you change my card status from a college to a normal account? Of course, but you'll have to come into the bank to do that. All right. 
I'll be down first thing tomorrow. Sounds good, sir. Have a good day. Troubleshooting a computer problem. How may I help you? My computer is not letting me run JavaScript. That can easily be fixed. I've tried fixing it myself, but nothing worked. If you'd kindly go to our website, I'll fix the problem. I've logged in. Now what? I will now access your computer from my location. Oh, I see what you are doing. That should just about fix the problem. Thank you so much. It was such an easy solution. I'm happy to help. Again, thank you and have a good day. Ordering services. I'm interested in signing up for your cable service. All right. Please choose the package you'd like. Does this package get me all the movie channels? I'm afraid not. This is the basic package. How much is it for the movie channels? That package is an extra twenty dollars a month. That's going to cost me an arm and a leg. You'll also get the premium sports channels. Well, that does sound tempting. If you sign up for our email updates, I'll give you a discount. All right, I'll take the premium package. You've made a wonderful choice. Hairdressing. Paying for the service. I love my new hairstyle. Beauty takes work. And this is your best work yet. Thank you. I'm glad you're satisfied. How much do I owe you? Well, there was the haircut, and you also got the highlights. Not to mention the lowlights. That'll be forty-five dollars. Prices have sure gone up over time. Yes, but beauty is worth it. When I look this good, I guess you're right. Thank you for letting me cut your hair. Making a complaint. What have you done to my hair? I did exactly what you told me to do. I asked for a light trim, not for a butchering. I had to cut out all the split ends. I look like a grapefruit. My head is too round. It's a short bob. Very stylish. It looks more like a bowl cut to me. It looks fantastic. Don't exaggerate. I hate it. I'm not paying for this. You have to pay me for my labor. I'm never coming here ever again. Trust me, you won't be missed. Making requests. Can you cut my hair a little differently this time? Sure. How would you like it cut? Well, last time it was a little too long. I see what you mean. How about a bob cut? Can you work some layers into it? Of course, it's easy. I would also like to keep some bangs. How long would you like them? Maybe down to my eyebrows. Sounds good. I trust you'll make me look beautiful. Oh, trust me, you'll look gorgeous. Doing laundry. Fabric softener. Excuse me, can I borrow your fabric softener? Of course, take as much as you need. Thank you. You're very kind. It's no problem at all. I love the subtle smell of this brand. Me too. It's not overpowering or strong. I think maybe I'll buy it for myself too. What I like about it is that it's hypoallergenic. No kidding. That's really something. It's perfect for washing delicate clothing. Well, thank you for introducing me to this brand. Any time, no problem. Operating a dryer. Put your wet clothes in the dryer, please. How long should I put them on for? Put them on the low heat for thirty minutes. Why low heat? If the air is too hot, the clothes will shrink. I need to wash another load of laundry. 
If they're colored, wash them in cold water. Does warm water make them fade? Yes, put the detergent here and don't use bleach. Oh, that's where to put the detergent. Don't forget to add fabric softener after the first rinse. Okay, I won't. Thanks. Time to do your laundry. I don't have any clean laundry for tomorrow. Well, you should do your laundry then. Laundry is such a hassle. Pack the laundry bags and let's go to the laundromat. Oh, all right. I don't have much though. Do you have any quarters? Yes, I have enough for the washer and dryer. All right then, let's get going. This is going to take forever. The longer you keep complaining, the longer it'll feel. I'd rather be playing video games. I'd rather you wore a clean shirt for school tomorrow. Parents and children. Time for bed. Children, it's time to go to bed. But we're not sleepy yet. If you get into bed right now, I'll read you a fairy tale. One with a princess and a prince? Of course, and a magical dragon too. Why do we hear fairy tales before bed? So that the magic from stories can grow while you're sleeping. What does it grow into? Why, magical dreams, of course. Please read us two tonight. All right, but only if you sleep as soon as I'm done. We will, it's a promise. Returning a call. Hello, is this Mr. Smith? I'm Mrs. Jones. Hello, Mrs. Jones. Did you get my message? Yes, I did. I'm returning your call. Oh, right. Of course. What's the problem? Is James in trouble? I caught him copying a classmate's test today. Oh, that child is incorrigible. I'm afraid I'll have to give him detention this time. It's all right. I understand. James certainly is strong-willed. Yes, he needs a firm hand and discipline. He's a good boy. Now, if only he'd stop cheating. Caring for puppies. I think these puppies are hungry. They've done nothing but play all day. Do you think they're old enough to eat kibble? They're six weeks old. I think they're old enough. Look, they're digging right in. Now they're settling for a nap. Between keeping them from chewing things and cleaning, they're a hassle. Yeah, they are. But look how cute they are while they sleep. Suddenly, I don't mind the chores so much. Neither do I. These puppies are truly worth it. I wouldn't lose a single minute with them. Waking up for school. Sarah, hurry up and get out of bed. I can't. The blankets won't let me go. Quit being lazy and get up. No, I have to finish my awesome dream. I can't believe you turned off your alarm this morning. Why? I do it every morning. If you don't get out of bed, you'll get to school late. That's not so bad. How is it not so bad? Sleep is good for growing children. Yes, but you have a math test this morning. I completely forgot. I'm up. I'm up. Cooking dinner. What's for dinner? I should be asking you that. What? Why do you say that? You're old enough to cook dinner. Are you saying it's my turn now? Actually, that's exactly what I'm saying. What would you like to eat then? I'm craving some spaghetti, bread, and even a salad. Frozen pizza it is then. You are so lazy. Can you even cook? Of course I can cook. I choose not to. You're having hot pockets for dinner tomorrow. Meeting teacher at school. Hello, Mr. Smith. It's nice to finally meet you. 
Likewise, Mrs. Jones, please sit down. Is James in trouble again? Actually, no, he's not. What's the purpose of this meeting exactly? I just wanted to let you know that James is doing very well. Oh, is that right? I'm so proud. He has been staying for tutoring and his marks have skyrocketed. I always knew he had it in him. He behaves better in the classroom, too. I do believe my James is growing up. All children need to mature is motivation. Cleaning up the room. David, clean your room. It's filthy. It's not so bad, Mom. I don't even remember the co what color the carpet is. It's blue. I remember. Have you no shame? What should I be ashamed of? There are clothes all over the ground. It's just easier to leave them here. Your floor is not a gigantic closet. I never said it was. Clean your room or you can't go out today. Fine, fine. I'll clean it now. An angry parent. You need to try harder in school. I'm doing well in school. Then why are your marks in science so low? I don't understand science, that's all. Is that the same reasoning you have for math? Yes, and English too. Tell me one single subject you're doing well in. Well, I'm doing wonderfully in my music class. What about history? Only the parts about Woodstock. That's it. You're grounded. No guitar for a month. Great. Now I'll surely have a low GPA. Weather. One. Heard it's supposed to rain. Where did you hear that from? The news. The weatherman said there is a high probability of rain. Since when have you started watching the news? I've always watched the news. Well, at least to check out the weather. What else did they say about the weekend? I think they said it was going to rain throughout the weekend. Throughout the weekend? Don't pull my chain. I'm not. They said it, not me. I know you had plans. Well, I don't believe it. Just like I don't believe you watch the news. Okay, suit yourself. I'd take an umbrella, though. I won't. I'd rather get wet than listen to you. Weather, too. Everything is going wrong today. Well, at least the weather is nice. Oh, yeah. Imagine if it had rained like they said it would. I know. I would have gotten soaked walking home. Yeah, I love when the sun is shining, but it's not too hot. I do, too. This weather is pretty sweet. I guess everything will be okay in the end. So, all you needed was some sunshine? Yeah, I guess you were right for once. Hey, I'm always right. Weather, three. Quick, get in here and wait out the storm. Oh my word, thank you so much. It's raining cats and dogs out there. More like lions and wolves. I was watching the news. What did they say? This is going to be one heck of a storm. Should we be worried? I don't think so. The emergency alert system would have gone up. True. Well, thank you for saving me from this storm. No problem. I'm making some tea. Would you like some? Please. Something warm would be great at the moment. Sports. One. Can you explain baseball to me? I can try to explain the basics. What do you want to know? What are strikes? Every batter has three strikes. When they get three strikes, they are out. Okay, but what about when the umpire calls a ball? Once an umpire calls four balls, then the batter goes to first base. What happens when a pitcher hits a batter with the ball? The batter goes to first base. What if someone is on first base? Then whoever was on first base goes to second base. Oh, okay. 
Well, what's a no-hitter? A no-hitter is when a team doesn't get a hit throughout the game. So that's a good thing for the pitcher? Yes, because that means he pitched really well. Sports, too. Do you know who won against the Dodgers and the Cubs? I'm sorry, but I don't follow baseball. Oh, really? Why not? I've never really got into baseball. I like basketball better. Oh, okay. Do you have a cell phone? Yes. Why do you ask? Could you check to see who won the baseball game? Sure. Let me check. It'll take one minute. It looks like the Chicago Cubs won 7-3. to three. Yes! I was rooting for the Cubs. Well, they won. Glad I could be of some service. Thanks again. Have a nice day. Sports 3 my baseball game starts at 2 p.m. today. Will you be there? Yes, I will definitely be there. Great. I will tell my family to save you a seat. What position will you be playing? I will be playing first base, but the coach may switch me. If he switches you, what position will you play? I think he wants me to pitch. You are a pitcher as well? Yes, I am. I'm still training, but I can throw. I didn't know that about you. Well, hopefully you can see me pitch today. Awesome. I can't wait. Describing people. One. I have a new co-worker at work. She's pretty. Oh, yeah? Is she prettier than your ex-girlfriend? Yeah, she is. She's tall, thin, and wears glasses. Oh, boy. What is it with you and girls with glasses? You know what? I don't know. Well, tell me about her. She likes music, and she's always wearing band t-shirts. Really? Are they any bands you like? Yeah, actually a lot of them are. How does she act? Is she nice? She is. I dropped my wallet and didn't notice. She took it to me. Well, ask her out tomorrow, or somebody will. Describing people, too. Dude, I forgot to tell you. I'm going out with Sarah. Which one is Sarah? You date so many girls that I get confused. First off, I don't date that many girls. And secondly, you're always confused. True. So which one is she? Is she in your class? Nope. She's the girl from the restaurant we go to in downtown. From Green Bamboo? Which girl? The cute one, you know, the one with the tattoo of her thigh. I think I would have noticed that. She's the only one with the blonde hair. Well, why don't you just say that? That's Sarah? Well, I know you didn't well, I know you check her out. I assume you saw the tattoo. I'm not that big of a pervert. Greetings, one. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing quite well. How are you? I've been better. I'm completely swamped with work. I know the feeling. My boss works me hard, too. Enough about work. How are the kids? They're good. The oldest is about to graduate from high school. You're kidding me. That's great, man. The youngest is about to start middle school soon. My son is about to start middle school as well. Hey, maybe they'll be classmates. It's a strong possibility. Yeah, well, I want to try to beat the traffic. Goodbye. Have a good one. Greetings, too. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fantastic. How about yourself? That's great. I'm good, but I feel a little sick. That's not good. I heard there's a flu going around. Well, I have to be sure to take good care of myself. Sucks that you aren't feeling well. It's a nice day. It is. The sunshine makes me want to go to the beach. That's a great idea, but I think you'll get sicker if you go. True. Perhaps we can go some other time. For sure. Or right, let's get together the next week and go, if you're better. Sounds like a plan. I'll talk to you later. Cool. See you later. 
Leave taking. It's 4 a.m. already. I have to be getting home. You can stay over if you want. I have an extra bed. I appreciate the gesture, but I must get home. Do you want to hang out tomorrow night? I would love that. I'll call you after I get out of work. What time do you get out? If my boss isn't there, I should be getting out around 8 p.m. And if your boss is there? Then I'll be getting out sometime around 10 p.m. Great. We could go grab a drink after you get out of work. That sounds lovely. Good night. Good night. Drive home safely. Favorite movie. What's your favorite movie? The Grand Budapest Hotel. Why do you ask? I was wondering what type of movies you liked. Well, that's my favorite movie, but I like all sorts of movies. Oh, okay, but what do you like in that movie so much? Because it has action, adventure, comedy, and wonderful acting. How many times would you say you have seen it? Too many to say. I watch it at least twice a month. Really? You like it that much? It's a really good movie. You should watch it. Could I borrow it? I don't have money to buy it. Yes, I could lend you the movie, but be careful with it. Receiving visitors. Come in, please. Take a seat wherever you'd like. Thank you. It's been a long, hot day. It has been a hot one. Would you like something to drink? What do you have? We have soda, juice, and bottled water. I'll take bottled water, and my wife would like one too. Sounds good. Would you like it in a glass with ice? Yes, that sounds wonderful. We also have some slices of pineapple. Would you like some? Pineapple would hit the spot. I would love some. Does your wife want some as well? Actually, she doesn't like pineapple. Thanks anyway. Compliment. That's an awesome shirt. Thank you. It's so nice of you to say. Where did you get it? I got it at a store at the mall. The mall? Did it cost a lot? Things are usually overpriced there. Actually, it was quite cheap. I got it for $15.99. That is pretty cheap. Do they have it in other colors? Do you want to go get one? Yeah, I like how it looks. Would you want to come with me? We can go after school if you want. That would be great. I need new clothes, but I don't know what to buy. I'll help you pick out something cute. Sharing news. Did you hear about Joseph and Michelle? No, what happened? Did they have a divorce? Oh no, they're pregnant. Really? How far along is Michelle? Joseph told me that she is four months. Oh, okay. How is he handling the news? He was a mess the last time I saw him. How is he now? Is he still crazy? Actually, he seems relaxed and collected. I can't believe Joseph is going to be a father. It's trippy, huh? He is our age. This is making me feel really old. Expressing concern. I heard that your brother's in the hospital. Yeah, he's been in there since last week. Oh no, what happened? Is he all right? He got in a car accident. He should be all right. The doctors told you he would be all right? Yes, but they need to keep him for further tests. Oh, okay. I was so worried when I heard this. Thanks, but everything should be fine. He was lucky. Really lucky. Did anyone else get injured? His girlfriend broke her arm, but that's all. Oh no, that's not good. Is she at the hospital? Yes, she's taking care of my brother. Expressing joy. Come on, guess what? I don't know. Chicken butt? Stop playing games. I got the part in the school play. Really? That's great! All this practice is finally paying off. Yes, it is. I can't believe it. Same here. I'm going to be the main character. I'm so proud of you. 
I can't wait to see the play. It's going to be a lot of hard work, but I'm glad I got the part. When does the play open? It opens in three weeks. Great. Get me a ticket. I want to be sitting in the front row. Calling a friend. Why don't you ever answer your phone? I'm usually busy. What's up? I wanted to see if you were down to kick it. Where do you want to go? I don't have that much money. Let's go for a drink at the bar where we went last week. Okay, but I only have enough for three beers. It's fine. I'll pay for the rest, but you owe me. Screw that. I paid for you last time. You owe me. Well, then we can call it even. I guess so. Where should we meet? How about the train station by the bar? Sounds good. I'll see you in an hour. Great. See you then. Laters. Invitation. Would you like to go see a movie tomorrow night? I'm busy tomorrow night, but I'm free the night after. That's great. What time should I pick you up? 8 p.m. would be great. Well, 8 p.m. it is. What movie would you like to see? I'm not sure. Which movies are out right now? I actually don't know. How about we choose when we get there? Sure thing. That sounds great. Okay. Should I pick you up at your house or do you want to meet somewhere? I live by school. If you want, we could meet there. Sure. I drive a white Nissan Sentra. I'll text you later on, okay? That sounds great. I'll be waiting for your text. Favorite music. Do you have a favorite genre of music? No, but I have favorite bands. What bands would you consider your favorites? The Beatles are the first. Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros are the second. Is that all? No, I really like The Clash. They are third. I've only heard of The Beatles. You should check out the other two bands. They're good. Do you have any of their music that you could show me? Sure. Come over to my house after school and I'll show you their music. Great. I've been looking for some new music to listen to. Don't worry. I'll get you into a lot of new stuff. Changing the subject. Can I ask you a question? Sure, go ahead. How is your relationship with your parents? It's good. I get along with my father more than I do with my mother. If I may ask, why is that? I'm not comfortable answering that. Why are you asking? It's for a class project. Why don't you get along with your mother? What class are you doing this for? It's for my psychology class. Do you live with your dad or your mom? I live with my dad. Do you think that's why you don't get along with your mom? I said I'm not comfortable with talking about that. Change the subject. Leisure activities. I'm bored. Do you want to do something? What did you have in mind? Do you want to go drink? No, I have work tomorrow and I don't want to be hungover. You don't have to get wasted. I know you. You won't shut your mouth until I get wasted. Fine. Let's go to the record store. I hear they have new vinyl. I'm down to go to the record store. I haven't been there in a while. Actually, I don't feel like going to the record store. Well, what do you want to do? Let's go to the movies instead. Yeah, that new movie that I want to see is out. Let's go. Asking for donation. Would you like to donate money for Christopher? Wait, what happened to Christopher? He was hit by a car after school the other day. What? That's terrible. That day I was going to walk home with him, but I decided to go to the library. I can't believe it. Is he okay? He broke some bones, but other than that, he is okay. Oh, great. So, why are you collecting money for him? The hospital bills are sort of steep. His parents can't afford it. Oh, wow. Well, here's my last ten dollars. Please send my best to Chris. Thank you. Every dollar counts. Bless your heart for helping him out.
Ending a conversation. I didn't like the way you sang tonight. Oh, wow. Well, thanks for coming out. You didn't put in all your effort. That's all I'm saying. Okay, well, I'm going to leave now. Why are you in a rush to leave? Because you're being rude and I don't want to speak to you. Well, now I know you can't take criticism. It's not that I can't take criticism, it's that I don't like jerks. How am I a jerk? I'm just giving you my honest opinion. Well, in my honest opinion, I don't care what you think. Now that was rude. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Great. Believe me, I won't be losing any sleep. Adding a class. I'm thinking of adding another class. Another one? You already have seven classes. I know, but I really want to add Psychology 101. It seems interesting. You're going to be so stressed out. I think I can handle eight classes. Seriously? You're going to be constantly in class or studying. I know, but it's worth it. Tell me that when I'm partying and you're not. How many classes are you taking? Two? Haha, ha, you're funny. I'm taking three. That's so little. Don't you feel like an underachiever? Remind me again why we're friends. Freshman 15. I gained so much weight because my college dining hall is all you can eat. It's called the Freshman 15. What is that exactly? It's an expression to refer to the observation that many college freshmen gain weight. Oh, I see. I definitely got the freshman 15 then. You should use your college's gym. I never have time. Oh, please. You just have to make time. I guess I should set an hour to work out. That's the attitude I like to hear. Did you gain any weight? Yeah, I just wear big clothes to hide my fat. Post-undergraduate plans. What do you plan to do after you graduate from here? I'm planning to go to medical school. You? I'm planning to teach English in underprivileged countries. That's really kind of you. Thanks. The first country I'm teaching is in Kenya. While you're at Kenya, I'll be studying for medical school. What kind of doctor do you want to be? I want to be a pediatrician. Because you like kids? I don't really have a good reason. I just think I'll be good at it. You should do what you love, not necessarily what you're good at. That is very cheesy advice. Easy or hard? I don't know which class to register for. You should pick the class you need. I know I need a science class. I would take biology with Mr. Green. It's a challenging yet fun class. I don't like challenges. Why are you in college then? My mom forced me to enroll. You should go to a vocational school instead. I don't think you understand. My mom is scary. Okay, fine. I recommend Earth Science 125 with Mr. Anderson. Thanks for the recommendation. Forgetting your student ID. I would like to purchase the book for Sociology 130. May I see your student ID? I didn't know we needed it. Please go get your ID and get in line again. But I waited in line for two hours. I'm sorry, but you need a student ID to purchase textbooks here. Are there any other options? Show me proof that you're a student at this college and you'll be good. I have my report card. Here it is. This will do. Nice grades, by the way. Thanks. I worked very hard for them. Good luck with this semester. Borrowing class notes. Can I borrow your class notes from yesterday's lecture? Heck no. You're so lazy. What are you talking about? I was sick yesterday. I don't care. Ask someone else. You're so mean. I can't let anyone borrow my class notes. Why not? They're just notes. I let a classmate borrow my notes once, and she sold copies to people. 
That's crazy. For how much? She sold each class note set for five dollars. Don't worry. I promise not to sell your notes. I can't take your word for it. Buying textbooks. I can't spend any more money after I buy my English textbook. How much is your English textbook? It's a hundred ninety-eight dollars. I'm not kidding. That's ridiculously expensive. What's the title of the textbook? It's called How to Write Well. Dude, someone is selling that book for thirty dollars. No way! What edition is it? I think it was the tenth edition. Oh, no wonder he or she is selling it for only thirty dollars. What edition do you need? I need the twenty-first edition. The publisher seems to be really making money, considering the number of editions. In need of a counselor. I would like to see my counselor now. Sorry, she doesn't have any time today. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Please make an appointment for next week. I really need to see her. I'm sorry, but you really can't. I swear, I will bang on her door and scream. Don't make a scene. If you don't want me to make a scene, tell the counselor I'm here. Fine. You can only talk to her for five minutes, though. That's all I need. Next time, you'd better make an appointment. Changing majors. I was wondering if I could change my major from biology to political science. Those majors are very different from each other. I know, but I hate biology. I can't see myself studying it anymore. You can change it, but you'll have to take more classes. I don't mind. Political science is really interesting to me. You would be graduating a year late. Oh no! I have to think a little bit more about this then. I think you should change it since you hate biology. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm so indecisive. A lot of people change majors. It's normal. But not as late as I did. I hate that I'm graduating after all my friends. You're making the right choice. A bad roommate. I hate my roommate. I'm sorry to hear that. What's wrong with her? A lot of things. First of all, she snores so loudly. That's not really her fault. What else? She never takes a shower. That's disgusting. You should tell her to take a shower. I did. She got mad at me and then proceeded to slap me. Ouch! Did you try to get a new roommate? I tried, but I could not. No one was willing to switch. I guess you can get a new room by yourself. I can't afford it. Ugh! I hate her so much. It's okay. The year will be over before you know it. The quiet student. Hi, I'm James. What is your name? Hi, James. My name is Lisa. I'm taking this class because it seems interesting. Why are you? I'm taking the class because it's a requirement. We should get to know each other. I don't think so. I like keeping to myself. So you don't like meeting new students? Nope. I would rather just be alone. That is so sad. It's not. It's really peaceful and self-empowering. Can we at least study together? Nope, we can't do that. Rounding it up. I have an eighty-nine point five percent. Okay, so what? It's really close to an A. You know, I don't round up. But I really need a four point zero GPA. You get what you deserve. I know I deserve an A. I always do great work and participate. I can't change it. Please, I'll wash your car. Are you bribing me? I just want an A. I'll give you a C if you don't leave now. Studying abroad. I'm planning to study abroad this summer. Cool. Where are you going? I'm going to Italy. What are you studying there? I'm taking a cooking class. That sounds interesting. I'm excited to learn in a totally new environment. Italy seems beautiful. 
It's beautiful in the pictures I've seen. Take a lot when you're there. I will, and I'll study hard too. Also, learn some Italian while you're there. A restaurant by the college. I'm so sick of dining hall food. Me too. It's so unhealthy. We should go to a restaurant nearby. Want to go to Health Nut? What a funny name! I like it. Do they sell nuts? I'm not sure. Anyways, I want to try their organic tofu. I'm allergic to tofu. That's okay. They serve a wide variety of food. Great. I'm just glad we're not eating dining hall food. Me too. Let's go. Clubs. College is so boring. All I do is go to class. You should join some clubs. Are you part of any clubs? Yes, I am currently in the Animal Lovers Club and the Knitting Club. What do you do in the Animal Lovers Club? We do a lot of things. Last week we walked dogs. That sounds fun. What's the wildest animal you've ever interacted with? I touched a dodo bird a couple weeks ago. Dodo birds are extinct. I'm just messing with you. You're silly. Okay, I'll join the Animal Lovers Club. Great. We always welcome new members. Fighting a parking ticket. You know you can't park here, right? Listen, I had to talk to my friend really quickly, and there was no parking spaces. I'm going to have to give you a ticket. I'm a broke college student. And I'm a broke police officer. Deal with it. Can't you just let me off with a warning? No way. I have to be firm with you. I'll buy you a box of donuts. You have got to be kidding me. I thought all cops liked donuts. That's a stereotype. You should really learn to be quiet. I'll stay quiet if you let me off with a warning. Turning homework in late. May I turn in my homework tomorrow? It's due today. I know, but I don't have it right now. How come? Your dog ate it? No, I left it at home. I can't take your word for it. Why not? I'm an A plus student. How do I know if you even did the homework? I'll ask my mom to take a picture of it and send it to me. That's fair enough. Thanks. Also, you should try trusting students more. We're not all that bad. I'll try, but I can't promise anything. Being absent. Why were you absent yesterday? Why do you care? You should be thankful I care so much about your education. The truth is, I didn't hear my alarm clock. You missed out on a very important lecture. It happens. I'll just ask my friend what was on the lecture. Is she a good note taker? I don't know. I guess. If you were in class, you wouldn't have to rely on anyone's notes. I can't change the past. I know. Anyways, you should increase the volume of your alarm clock. I suppose I could do that. Professor Hernandez. I hate Professor Hernandez. Me too. He keeps calling me stupid. You think that's bad? He gave me an F because I double spaced my essay. But every professor wants essays double spaced. He's crazy. Professor Hernandez is weird. He wants essays triple spaced. That's just a waste of paper. Why does he like triple spacing? He says because he has to make a lot of corrections because we're stupid. We should start a petition and get him fired. We should, but he can find out. I know. If he found out, he would ruin everyone's lives. He is so evil. That's why this petition has to work. Purchasing a parking permit. The parking permit is two hundred dollars per semester, right? It's actually three hundred dollars. Why? That's ridiculous. It's because of the budget cuts. That's a terrible excuse. It's the truth. Give me something better than that. Miss, if you don't want to pay, then don't. 
This is so stressful. I advise writing a letter to the dean. I bet he'll just throw it away. You would be surprised. Job fair. I hope I can find another job after graduation. What is your major? My major is geology. Geology majors aren't very high in demand, but you'll do fine. What makes you say that? You're smart and likable. Don't worry. Thanks, but I'm still scared. Oh, hey, you should go to the job fair. We have that here? Yes, take advantage of it. Have you ever been there? Yes, and it's very helpful. Dress nicely. A restriction. I am so upset. Oh, no. Talk to me about it. I can't register for a class I really need. Is it full? I have a hold on my record because my library books were overdue. Can't you just pay the overdue fees? I can't afford it. I'm totally broke. How much do you need? I need $50. Wow, you must have kept those books long past the due date. Yes, I know. I am horrible. I'll lend you the money. A busy professor. Hey, Professor Hill. What is it? I've been having trouble with derivatives. That's not good. There's a test on derivatives next week. I know. Can I make an appointment with you for some help? I'm a busy man. You didn't even check your schedule yet. I know I'm busy because many people already made appointments. So I'm hopeless? Of course not. There's the tutoring center. But the tutors are not professors. They're just students. They might surprise you. Early morning class. I have to go to bed early. Why? The night is still young. I have a class at 7 a.m. That's tough. My earliest class is 9 a.m. That sounds amazing to me. How do you stay awake in class? Before I go to class, I drink four cups of coffee and take a cold shower. Interesting routine. Does it work? Kind of. It's better than not doing it at all. Why are you taking that class? It's only offered once a year, so I have to take it now. I hope the class is interesting at least. Parking issue. Do you have a car on campus? No, because it's hard to find parking here. How do you get to places then? I walk or take the bus. That's crazy. I could never do that. You should. It's great for the environment. That's true. What do you do for fun then? There's lots of stuff to do around campus. I never realized. You should do some exploring. You convinced me. I won't bring my car this semester. We can walk to places together now. Vending machine problems. Why are you taking so long? Is something wrong? Sorry, my bag of chips got stuck. Vending machines suck, huh? They're the worst, the f but the food is great. It might come out if someone buys an item from the same column yours is on. Can you be that someone? Sure, why not? I could use some chips. Thanks. Hey, what is your name? My name is Charlie. Nice to meet you, Charlie. What is your name? Hater of vending machines. 90% is a B. I think your grading policy is unfair. I beg your pardon? Why is a 90% a B? I'm trying to challenge you guys. That's not a challenge. That's a punishment. I've had this policy since I started teaching. It's time for a change. I'm not changing my policy because you don't like it. Put yourself in my shoes. I have been a student once, and I think my policy is fair. I'm going to drop your class. Go ahead. Less for me to grade. Finding the classroom. It takes me hours to find my classroom. 
I might be able to help you. Really? That would be great. What's your classroom number? My classroom number is A21. So the A is the building type. Okay, but I don't know where that is. Do you know where the gym is? Yeah, I do. Okay, your classroom is behind the gym. That's really helpful. Thank you. No problem. And the 21 means it's upstairs. Sports. I'm thinking of joining a sports club on campus. You should. It takes away the stress of studying. What sport do you play? I actually play on our university's baseball team. That's cool. You must be really good. Yeah, I have a baseball scholarship. No wonder you're in such great shape. You'll be in great shape too after joining a sports club. I'm thinking of joining the tennis club. I wouldn't if I were you. The members don't even play tennis. What do they do then? They just talk about tennis. They never even touched a racket though. Talking to a counselor. I'm glad you came to talk to me today. You kind of forced me to. That's because I'm worried. What are you worried about? You withdrew from four or five of your classes last semester. I was doing poorly. And why was that exactly? It was just too hard. You're really behind now. You might have to spend six years here. Can't I just take summer classes? Yes, but you don't want to stress yourself out. I don't really have a choice. Writing workshop. Want to go to the writing workshop with me today? Nah, man. My writing skills is tight. You mean are instead of is, right? Yeah, of course. You should come with me. Our college has great workshops. I don't want to look stupid. You won't. You look stupid using incorrect grammar. Fine. How long is the workshop? It's about an hour. I don't think my attention span is more than five minutes. Don't worry. I'll pinch you and wake you up. That's a clever idea. An honest student. I have to tell you something. What is it? You graded my test incorrectly. I got this wrong, but you didn't mark it. Wow, I have never met a more honest student. I just felt wrong. Just keep the score you have. Really? That's awesome. Yes, I have to ask, why did you decide to tell me? I'm really bad at lying. That's a good thing. Your honesty is praiseworthy. Thanks. Want to give me extra credit? Don't push it. Leaving school. I have to leave class early tomorrow. I don't like that. Just don't come to class. Don't be like that, professor. I have to attend my mom's funeral. I'm sorry for your loss. It's okay. I'm going to miss her. I lost my mom when I was in college, too. Saddest thing ever, right? Yes. You know what? Take a week off school. I can't do that. I have too many responsibilities. Take my advice. I'll think about it. If you ever need to talk, my door is open. The overdue hold. Wow, your books are over the due date by one month. It would have been longer if there wasn't a hold on my record. What kind of hold is on your record? A hold that won't let me go to the college football game. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, my girlfriend is actually a cheerleader, and so I have to go. Oh, you're not going to like what I'm going to say. What is it? I can't remove the hold even if you pay the overdue fee. Is it a technical error? I don't know. I just can't remove it. If my girlfriend breaks up with me, I'm blaming you. Dropping out. I have decided to drop out of college. You're making the worst decision of your life. I just don't get the point of college. It's just memorizing. 
What are you going to do then? I'm going to get a job. As what? A burger flipper? Don't be mean. I'm going to be rich and successful when I'm older. It's almost impossible to be rich and successful without a college degree. Look at Steve Jobs. He dropped out of college. He's a rare case. Watch me prove you wrong. I'd like to see you try. Homesick. Are you okay? You look really sad. I'm homesick. I feel so out of place here. But this college is so awesome. I know, but I really miss home. How far do you live? Far? Let's just say I need an airplane to get there. It's almost winter break. Hang in there. I don't think I can handle it anymore. Try calling your friends and family from your hometown. I don't want them to worry about me. Just call them. Don't you want to stop feeling sad? Okay, I'll call them now. Checking books for damage. There's a huge rip here. But there's tape on it. Did you put the tape there? No, it was there before. I know you're lying to me. If you know, then why did you ask if I put the tape on? I wanted to see if you were a liar or not. How did you know I'm lying? Before you check out the book, the librarian checks it for damage. Wow, you guys think of everything. Yes, anyways, you owe $10. Fine, here you go. Checking out a magazine. Now you can only check out this magazine for one week. Why one week? I thought the borrowing time was two weeks. That's for books only. Oh, that's weird. Well, it doesn't take that long to finish your magazine. I know, but I like to take my time. I don't make the rules. Would you like to check it out? Yes, I'd like to check it out. Interesting magazine choice. Reading about celebrities is not really smart of you. Don't judge me. I can't read educational stuff all the time. I do. I read Time and National Geographic. Everyone's taste is different. Computer limit. Miss, you've been using the computer for over an hour now. I know. I'm sorry. Are you looking for something? I'm researching for my project. Can you come back tomorrow? Your daily computer limit time is up. I don't have a computer at home. I'm sorry to hear that, but other people need to use the computer too. My project is due very soon. I need to research. How about books? This is a library after all. I looked for books on my project. They're not good at all. Maybe you don't know how to look for good books. I'll help you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Borrowing a book from another library. I'm so frustrated. I can't find any books on my research topic at my library. Why don't you try a different library? I don't want to waste gas money. But you might find your book. What library do you suggest? I suggest the one near my house. That's way too far for me. They have a lot of books. That library has never disappointed me. I have an idea. Why don't you borrow them for me? I don't know about that. What if you lose the books? I won't. I swear on my life. Wow, you're so serious. People at the printer. Why is the printer line so long? It's finals week. Oh, yeah? You're right. This happens every year, so I got smarter. What do you mean? I printed my stuff for finals at home. Oh, that is smart. I have to get in line now. What do you have to print? I have to print some notes. Good luck. You'll be waiting here for a long time. I bet the ink and paper will go out. If that happens, you're in trouble. Reserving a book. I would like to reserve The Hunger Games. Everyone wants to reserve that book these days. It's really popular because the movie just came out. 
You have to pay one dollar to reserve the book. What? That's ridiculous. Like you said, it's popular. I have to think about it then. I personally think a dollar is nothing. It's cheaper than buying the book. How much is the book? On the back, it says fifteen dollars. It depends on the bookstore you go to, though. Fine, I'll give you a dollar. You won't regret it. The book is really good. The library restroom. Do you have a restroom? Only for employees. But I really need to go. I can't let you go. There's a restroom in the market across from us, though. That restroom is really dirty. It smells like someone died in there. Fine, I'll take you to our restroom. Yay! Thank you so much. We have to go secretly. If anyone sees you use the restroom, I'll be fired. Don't worry. I will be small and quiet as a mouse. Okay, good. The password is five nine five. Go quickly before anyone sees you. Thank you for your kindness. You owe me if we ever see each other again. Where is the book? I really need a book, but I didn't see it on the shelf. According to the computer, it's not checked out yet. Then why isn't it on the proper shelf? It means that someone in this library is holding it right now. So someone else has the book and plans on checking it out. Either that, or someone took it out of the shelf and misplaced it. I really need that book. You're going to have to look everywhere for it. Can't you just make an announcement asking whoever has the book to come forward? You are not that special. When it comes to books, it's first come, first serve. But I need it for school. I'm sorry, but I can't do anything for you. Studying at the library. I can't study at home because my family talks so loudly. Study at the library. Can you focus in there? Yes, it's always really quiet. I'll go today. Make sure you get a good seat. Are there not enough seats for everyone? It depends on when you go. I'm going at one a.m. Dude, it's not even open that late. But that's the best time for me. Well, you can always try a cafe. They tend to close late or not at all. A gross book. Ew! Look what I found in this book. What is that? It's a dead bug. It's all squished and messy. I can't read this book without being disgusted. But don't you really want to check out this book? I do, but I really can't. I'll check it out then. You can read it without being disgusted. Yeah, I'll just skip that page. There could be something really interesting on it. Whatever. I'm just gonna check out the book. A special library. Hi, I'm here to apply for a library card. Is this your first time applying for one? It's my first time applying for a card here. Do you have cards with any other libraries? Yes, I have one with my college and one with my local library. What college do you go to? UCLA. They have over ten libraries. That's one of the great perks of higher education. Even though I have library cards, I really like this library. What do you like about it? I like the foreign language books. That's rare for any library. Yes, it is. We get people all over the world because of that section. Tiger books. Hi, can you help me find a book on tigers? Yes, of course. Is it for a school project? Yes, I'm doing an essay on the life of a tiger. You're going to want to want one with lots of words and less pictures. But I want the one with pictures. Pictures are pretty, but they won't help you with your essay that much. Fine, I admit you're right. You can borrow the book with pictures for your own pleasure. Yay! I love tigers. I have a book that isn't hard to understand, but still has great information. Great, 
You're so helpful. It's my job to be helpful. Late fees. I'm sorry, but you can't borrow this book. What do you mean? You have not paid your late fees for your overdue books. I've never had any overdue books. The computer doesn't lie. What books do I have late fees for? They're all math books, and according to the system, you still have them. Oh, yeah, I do. I totally forgot about them and left them on my bed. Once you return them and pay the fee, you can borrow books again. But I really need to borrow those books now. I can put them on hold for you. Yes, you are the best. This is a great book you're checking out. You have read it? Read it? I memorized it. It's one of my favorites. That's good to know. You should check out more books. Can I check out more than one? Of course. It would be crazy if you could only get one book. That's awesome. I'll be back. Don't go crazy now. The limit is 15 books. Don't worry. I'll probably come back with five more books. It's great to see a kid excited about reading. Yeah, most kids hate reading. They're more into television. Checking out a video. How long do you want to check that video out for? One week would be nice. That will be five dollars. What? I thought I could check out videos for free. You can check out educational videos for free. This is bogus. It's still not a bad price. Okay, what if I borrow it for a day? It'll be two dollars. Okay, here's two dollars. So much for a library that services the public. I hope you enjoy the movie. For two bucks, I'd better love the movie. Barely late. Here are the books I'm returning. Looks like they're late. The late fee is five dollars. Okay, I'm only one minute late. One minute late, one month late, one year late, it doesn't matter. Are you kidding me? There's a big difference between one minute and one month? Look, the point is they're late. Screw you, I ain't paying five dollars. I guess you'll never borrow another book, a uh, magazine, or video here ever again. It's okay, because I don't even like this library. This library doesn't like you either. I am leaving. You are plain rude. Leave. Nobody wants to see you. Using a copier. How much do I need to insert here to make one copy? It depends. Do you want your copy in color or black and white? I want it in color. Then it'll be 20 cents per page. That's kind of expensive. Yeah, but most of us don't have a copy machine of our own. I have one, but it's broken. That sucks. Well, if it's a money issue, you can copy your stuff in black and white. No, it has to be color. Do you really not have 20 cents? I do, but I'm really cheap. Well, you don't really have a choice at this point. Be quiet. Can you please shut up? Maybe if you ask nicely, I will. This is a library, so you have to shut up. I didn't know laughing was a crime. It's a crime in the library. You're just jealous because I'm having a good time and you're not. No, that's not it at all. I'll shut up if you say you're sorry. Sorry for what? If anything, you should say sorry. Okay, fine. I'm sorry that your parents didn't teach you how to be nice. That does it. I'm getting a librarian. Go get one. Volunteering at the library. You should volunteer at the library with me. What's so good about volunteering there? It's fun, and you feel good about yourself. What would you do there? Everyone does different things. I organize events. What kind of events? Movies, arts and crafts, magic shows, and more. That does sound fun. Do you want to sign up? 
Yeah, how do I sign up? I'll get you an application. Reference books. You can't check out this one. It's a reference book. What does that mean? It means you can only read it in the library. But I need it for my essay. You can take pictures of the pages you need. I need most all of them. You can keep coming back here. That's so inconvenient. It is, but they have to be kept here. I guess I can take pictures of the pages then. Sorry about the inconvenience. It's okay, it's not your fault. Planning to transfer. I'm applying to transfer out of this college. I'm going to miss you. Me too. I'll text you every so often. Why do you want to transfer? I don't think here it is challenging enough for me. You can join the honors program. I did, and it wasn't challenging either. All right, then. When are you going to start applying? Next month. I'm already looking at essay prompts. Are they challenging? Yes, but they're kind of fun. I hope you get into wherever you want to go. Classes unrelated to your major. What classes should I take to transfer? You need a little bit of everything. What do you mean? You need to take at least one class in every subject. Do I need to take a math class? Even if your major is Portuguese, you have to take a math class. That's so stupid. It's just to make you more knowledgeable. But I don't even need it. It's been like this for ages. Well, the policy should be changed. It won't, so in the meantime, you should register for a math class. Classes needed for transfer. You only need three more classes and you'll be ready to transfer. Which classes do I need? You need a history class, a physical science class, and a foreign language class. Which history class should I take? The one you're most interested in. I looked at the course listing and there's nothing I'm interested in. In that case, go for the class you would be the least bored of. I guess I could take European history. There you go. How about the other classes you need? I think I'll take physics and French. I'm glad you know what to take. Me too. Careful planning is part of what makes up a successful student. Applying to many universities. How many universities are you applying to? I'm applying to 12 universities. Wow, that's a lot. I just want a lot of options. But it costs a lot of money and time. I get fee waivers. But how about the time? I mean, applying is a lot of work. College applications ask similar questions. Good for you. I'm only applying to three universities. Which ones are you applying to? CSULA, UC Irvine, and Yale. I find it hard to believe that you can limit yourself to only three universities. Classes needed for transfer. I'm registering for Psych 21 because I need it to transfer. I need that class too in order to transfer. But there's only one space left. That's terrible. My registration time is at 5 p.m. Darn it, mine is at 6 p.m. That sucks. Maybe someone will drop out. I doubt it. Psych 21 is needed by a lot of people. Beg the professor? If I have to. You should cry. That might work. I'm planning to. I can cry on demand. Maybe you should take a theater class instead. Talking to a counselor. I want to transfer, but I don't know where to start. Let's start with the basics. What do you want to major in? I want to major in biology. Then you have to take general education requirements like everyone else. What are those requirements exactly? I'll give you a sheet listing all of them. What else do I have to do? You should fulfill some, if not all, of your major requirements. Okay, about when will I finish? 
It all really depends on how many classes you take and complete per semester. I'm planning on taking five classes per semester. That's good. You'll be ready to transfer in about two years. A recommendation letter, one. My professor wrote a really bad recommendation letter for me. You read his recommendation letter? Yeah, I couldn't resist. This is why you shouldn't read it. You might not like what you see. He wrote such boring things about me. What did he write? Just that I'm a diligent student who does well. At least it's nothing bad. You can always ask another professor. I know, but I don't have time. When do you need another recommendation letter by? I need one by this Friday. Oh, wow. Maybe you should just send the one you have now. A recommendation letter, too. Hey, Professor Lopez, I need a favor. What kind of favor? Can you write a recommendation letter for me? I'm sorry, but I can't. Why not? I was a good student. Yes, you were. The thing is, I don't know you that well. I'll just give you my resume, and you can write about how great I am. I can't. I don't think I can write you a good letter. But I don't know who else to ask. Ask someone who knows you as more than just a student. I honestly never had a professor I felt close to. Then you can only hope a professor writes a letter for you regardless of that fact. Not accepted to a university. What's wrong? You look sad. I was rejected from my dream school. I'm sorry to hear that. I feel so stupid. What's wrong with me? Nothing. If your dream school doesn't want you, then it's their loss. I don't know what to do anymore. Look, that school didn't accept you because you weren't the right fit. Is that supposed to make me feel better? I'm just saying, why would you want to go to a school that doesn't fit you? When you say it like that, I understand you. Yeah, just focus on the schools that do want you. You're right. Yale made a mistake rejecting me. Accepted to a university. I got accepted to all of the schools I applied to. Congrats, you totally deserve it. How many schools did you apply to? I applied to six. What was your first reaction when you got into your dream school? I was shocked. My heart stopped. I know the feeling. It's a great one. It is. I don't even know what school to pick now. Same here. Who knew getting accepted would have problems? It's a good problem. Hey, we should visit schools together. That would be fun. What university to transfer to? I don't know what university to transfer to. There's a lot, so it's all about picking what suits your needs. For starters, I would like a university in a safe area. Okay, what else are you thinking about? I want to live close to home. I think UC Irvine would be good. I don't think that's good for my major. What is your major? I'm majoring in philosophy. Yeah, you're right. UCI is not good for philosophy. I also want to go to a college that will increase my job opportunities. Let's go do some online research. Taking speech 101. Why are you taking this class? I need it to transfer. You? Me too. I would never take speech 101 if I didn't need it. Yeah, I hate public speaking. Me too. I get so nervous. I just want this class to be over with. It's going to be a long semester. Maybe after this class, we'll love public speaking. I doubt it. I don't even know why we have to take this class to transfer. I guess it's to make us better speakers. It'll all be worth it when we transfer. College application questions. What are you doing? I'm filling out my college application. Do you need any help? I applied two years ago. 
Yes, I do need help. Should I put my ethnicity? It won't be used for or against you. It's really up to you. Also, should I put all of my extracurriculars? Put the ones that you are heavily involved in. Next question. Should I put anything in the additional information section? If you feel like you need to say something that you didn't mention before, then yes. Can I say I got an A when I really just got a B? What? Of course not. They will ask for your transcript. Oh, I didn't know that. Lying on college applications. After seeing your college application, I can tell you're really smart and talented. Not really. I'm lying about almost everything. Why? They're going to find out. No, they're not. They're not going to check. Yes, they will. After a college admits you, they'll ask for your transcript. I didn't know that. How about my extracurriculars? They'll randomly audit 10% of their applicants. What does that mean? The UCs will randomly select 10% of their applicants to provide proof of their extracurriculars. It's only 10%. It's not that little. You may be chosen. Be careful. You're right. It's too risky to lie. A class desperately needed. I desperately need to take an English class this semester. So does everyone else. It's the only class I need before I transfer. Maybe you can pay someone for their spot. I honestly would do that if someone was willing to give up their spot. What happens if you can't get the class? Then I need to stay at Pasadena City College longer. That would stink. I know. That's why I need this class. You can try taking it at another college. I might do that. The closest community college is a two-hour drive. I'm praying you get the English class. Personal Statement Workshop I'm having trouble with my personal statement. You should go to the Personal Statement Workshop. What is that? It's where a professional will give you tips and revise your personal statement. That sounds helpful. It is. I went to one last week. How was it? The person leading the workshop was an English professor, so it was informative. I'm kind of embarrassed to show my personal statement, though. You shouldn't be. I feel like I'll be laughed at. The workshop will improve your writing. You really should go. Deciding not to transfer. I have decided not to transfer. Why not? You kept saying you wanted to. I know, but it's so hard getting accustomed to a new school. That's a terrible reason not to transfer. No, it's a good one. I feel at home here. Sometimes a new environment is necessary. No, I really like it here. Also, I know what to expect. I still think you're making the wrong choice. Why do you want me to go? I just think the school isn't right for you. That's not for you to decide. I know, but I'm just stating my opinion. First day at a new school. Wow, this place is amazing. Is this your first time here? It's my first day at this school. I just transferred. I see. You're going to love it here. I think I will, too. Did you move in yet? Yes, I have an apartment nearby. That's good. What's your first class? My very first class is human biology. I hope it's educational and entertaining. I think it will be. I'll walk you there, since you probably don't know where anything is. Ordering fast food, one. Hi, can I get a pizza slice, please? Sure, is there anything else you'd like? I'll also take that bag of chips. What size drink would you like? A medium soft drink, please. All right, you can go fill it at the fountain. Can I also buy this banana, please? Certainly. Will that be all? Yes, that's all. What's my total? Your total is 1236. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too.
Ordering fast food, too. Where do I go to get my food? Just walk around and pick what you want. I'll take a sandwich and a pear. I think I'll have the same. What are you getting to drink? I'll just have water. Where do we pay for all of this? Carry your tray to the cash register. This reminds me of a school lunch line. Well, it does work the same way. Don't forget to grab napkins. Thanks for reminding me. Vegetables. Can you cut the vegetables, please? How do you want me to cut them? Cut the potatoes into big chunks. What about the carrots? Those you can cut into rounds. Do I do the same with the celery? No, you can cut them into strips. There are so many ways to cut these things. Yes, there really are. Can I cut the zucchini into rounds? That's what I was going to ask you to do. Great. I'll get started now. Meat. What kind of meat are you buying? I'm just buying some pork shoulders. Why did you make them cut it in half? It's tenderer if you do it that way. Do you need anything else? Yes, I need some tenderloin pieces. You sure are buying a lot of meat. Meat makes you strong. And it also tastes amazing. Would you like to come over for dinner? Sure, I'd like to see how well you cook. All right, you'll find it delicious. Salads. What's that you're eating? It's a house salad. What order are you waiting for? Oh, I'm not waiting for an order to come. You mean that's all the lunch you're having? Yes, this was my lunch today. Are you on a diet? No, I just felt like eating a salad. It's only got lettuce. No, it has cucumbers and carrots, too. What's that on top? Steamed chicken. It's delicious. Drinks. I'm so thirsty. You might want to buy something refreshing. I think I'd like a hibiscus tea. It's kind of hot, isn't it? Yes, it is. What'll you get? Same as yours. Awesome. We match. Yeah, I guess we do. Place the order. I'll spot you the money. In that case, I want the biggest size. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. I was only kidding. Lunch. What are we having for lunch? I'm making some sandwiches. Can I make some lemonade to drink? Sure, that'd be great. We just ate breakfast, but I'm already hungry. Me too. It's amazing how hungry I get so soon. I'm really looking forward to those sandwiches. I just realized we're out of bread. I guess lunch will have to be delayed. Can you please go to the store and buy some? Sure. Don't drink all the lemonade. I won't. Come back soon. I'm starving. How to cook a meal. Can you make dinner for your sister tonight? Aw, she only eats macaroni and cheese. What's the problem? I don't know how to make it. It's super easy. Just follow the box instructions. We're all out of instant macaroni and cheese. Well, make it from scratch then. How do I do that? Just cook the pasta and mix in the cheese, milk, and butter. It can't be that easy. Cooking isn't that hard at all. You can do it. If I accidentally burn the house down, it's not my fault. Using coupons. What are you carrying? It's a newspaper with coupons. Why do you keep looking at it? I'm buying the fruit that is not on sale at Ralph's. Is it on sale here? No, but it's a bit cheaper. Why is it cheaper? It's a town supermarket, not a big chain. Look, milk prices rose. Lucky for me, I have a coupon for superfoods. I have to start couponing too. You sure save a lot of money. 
at the market. I can't find the jasmine rice. Isn't it in the rice section? No, they don't have it here. Let's check again. Is it this one? No, that's short grain white rice. What about this one? It's longer. No, that's brown rice. How are we supposed to find jasmine rice? Oh, I see more rice on another aisle. I found it in the international section. I think it's funny that Americans think that rice is exotic. Me too, but Americans call everything different exotic. Nutrition of foods. You really need a more balanced diet. It's fine. I eat three times a day. All three times, and all you eat is fatty foods. I'm not always eating junk food. Not junk food, just fatty and oily food. Try to eat equal amounts of meat and vegetables. Why should I measure the portions that way? You need to eat enough protein and vitamins. Yeah, I'll take your advice. You'll feel much healthier. I believe you. Thanks for the advice. Snacks. Throw away those potato chips. What's so bad about potato chips? They'll rot your insides. Oh, they're not so bad. You should eat a different snack. I think I'll have some frozen yogurt. That is a much better snack. I'd still like to eat potato chips, though. You had some yesterday. I don't eat them very often. You can have them later. I guess that sounds pretty fair. Desserts. What do you think I should get for dessert? I don't know. Look at the menu. Wow, they have ice cream, pies, cakes. It looks like a great selection. I don't know what to get. It's kind of hot out. Maybe ice cream would be good. Ice cream sounds fantastic. How about we go to the ice cream parlor down the street? That sounds good to me. Let's go. That pecan pie is calling my name, though. Answer to ice cream's call only. You're right. Let's go. Fruits. Why are you eating another apple? You know what they say about apples. No, I'm afraid I don't know. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Especially if you throw it at him. You should eat fruit. It's good for you. I do eat fruit, just not as often as you do. Eating healthy is wonderful. I don't doubt it, but I still want pizza for lunch. Only if you eat an apple too. All right, I'll also eat an apple. That's the spirit. You're healthier already. Dinner. Have you decided what you're going to order? I think I want to eat steak today. That sounds delicious. I've been craving one all day. You're making me crave one now. Well, we might as well order a steak now. Actually, I changed my mind. What are you having? Shrimp pasta. It looks delicious. Do you mind if I try some of that? Only if you give me some steak. All right, it's perfect. Thanks. Breakfast. Did you book the hotel for the trip? Yes, and it comes with something extra. What would that be exactly? Continental breakfast every morning. Wow, do you think they serve pancakes? Oh, with syrup and fresh fruit. You can't forget the whipped cream and freshly brewed coffee. I can't wait to see it all. I think I'm more excited for breakfast than the trip. Well, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That's very true. Where to buy food? I'm starving. Me too. Let's get something to eat. What would you like? I know. Let's go down to the farmers market. What do they sell to eat there? Only the best produce in the city. What makes it so great? Well, it's all organically grown. Can't we just go to the supermarket? 
No way. Those vegetables don't compare at all. I don't feel like cooking. Let's get burgers. Fine. Let's get some burgers. Buying insurance. Welcome to Infinity Insurance. Hello. I am looking to buy insurance for my car. Well, you have come to the right place. Please sit. I came in the other day and spoke with David. Oh, great. Did he take down all your information? Yes, he told me I had to bring in this paper from the DMV. Great. This, go this should go by real quick then. David gave me a price yesterday as well. He told me it would be $75. Yes, that is what we charge for first-time drivers. Okay, I would like to make my first payment today. Good. How will you be paying? Cash, debit, or credit card? I will be paying debit. Making an appointment with DMV. Excuse me, but I'd like to make an appointment for next week. I can help with that. Did you try doing it over the phone or online? Yes, but it seemed so confusing. I know what you mean. They are working on it. Great. So I wanted to come in sometime next week. How does Monday sound? Monday is no good. Is Wednesday okay? Yes, Wednesday works. We have these times available. I can come in at 10 o'clock a.m. Great. I need your name and phone number. My name is Christopher Clark, and my phone number is 555-323-2465. Great. We will see you on Wednesday. Test driving the car. How many miles does the car have? It has 55,150 miles on it. Let's take it around the block, see what this baby has. Sure thing. Here are the keys. The air conditioning doesn't work. No, it does not. It's an easy fix, though. Okay. Are there any other problems with it? Everything should be in order. The power steering seems to need some fixing. Why do you say that? It's hard to turn the steering wheel when turning. You may take it to a mechanic to make sure. How to pay for the used car. I really liked this car. How much are you asking for it? I'm asking for $2,000. It has some minor problems. Yes, my mechanic told me it was a quick fix. So, you want to take the car? Yes, I could write you a check right now. That sounds good. Could I cash it today? Yeah, go ahead. It will clear. Don't worry. Didn't mean anything by it. No, it's cool. I know sometimes you have to wait for a check to clear. Great. So, could you make it out to Michael Slender? Sure thing. I'm going to put car payment under the memo. Sounds good, man. I will take care of things at the DMV tomorrow. Where to buy a used car? Hey, Mark. Do you know where I can look for used cars? You can always check online. My friend bought a car on Craigslist. Yeah, but I was thinking about that. Do you know any other way? There's a dealership that sells used cars on Atlantic Boulevard. Where is it? I've never seen one. It's on the corner of 7th and Atlantic. Oh, by the Burger King. Yeah, they have a pretty good selection. You should check it out. I'm down. Can you go with me? Sure. I'm free tomorrow and Thursday. Shoot me a text. Will do, man. Thanks. Sure thing, bro. You owe me, though. Detecting a problem with the car. I felt the car's transmission was lagging a bit. Really? I haven't felt anything. Have you had the transmission checked? I took it for a tune-up the other day. The mechanic didn't say anything? Nope. He told me the car was in tip-top shape. Would you mind if I took it to my mechanic? Just want to make sure. Sure, go ahead. Would you like to take it now? Let me check with my mechanic. If he is busy, then you can come back tomorrow. I am free. He said he is free tomorrow. I guess I can come back tomorrow. Great. Feel free to call me at any time. Negotiating a price with a dealer. I liked the car, but I'm not happy with the price. 
I'm sorry, but that's the best we can do. Could you talk to your manager and have it brought down? I could try, but it probably won't work. I can't afford fifteen thousand. The most I can spend is ten thousand. Let me call my manager. He is out of the office. I can pay it all off now. I don't want to be making payments. Well, my manager said that we can work with eleven grand. I can't do eleven grand. How about ten thousand five hundred? Let me check. Great. I can pay you with a check today. It seems that ten thousand five hundred will work. Let's get the paperwork filled. Title transfer. So I can give you the title transfer after you pay me. Okay, I can pay you in full today. That's great. I have the title transfer here with me. Great. What do I need to do? I just need you to fill in the information on this form. And then you're going to take it to the DMV. Yes, you should receive a notice from the DMV in the mail. Okay, that sounds good. Once you fill out everything, be sure to sign your name at the bottom. Will do. When can you take the paper to the DMV? I can take it later on today. If not, I can definitely take it tomorrow. Awesome. I just want to get everything done fast. Asking about car insurance. Hello. I wanted to ask you about car insurance prices. Sure thing. Please have a seat. Thank you. I just bought my first car. Great! Congratulations. What kind of car is it? It's a 1994 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. Oh, so it's an older make. Yes, but it's in good condition. So, how much would the payments be? Depends. Have you been in any accidents? No, I have not. Have you gotten any driving tickets? Nope. That can affect the insurance rate. At times. Well, everything seems to be in order. You would have to pay seventy-five dollars monthly. That sounds great. At the window of DMV. Hello, I'm here to renew my registration. Okay, may I please have your renewal notice? Yes, here it is. Do you need my driver's license? No, this is fine. It seems you missed your deadline. Yes, I completely forgot. Well, it's going to cost you a bit more to renew it. How much more will it cost? It was going to be eighty-eight dollars. Now it's going to be a hundred and twenty dollars. Well, I guess I'm going to have to be more careful. It would be a good idea. Have you done the smog check? No. Is it required? It is this year. You'll have to do it again two years from now. Can I come back tomorrow? Yes. Don't wait in line. Come directly to me. Taking it to the mechanic. I checked the whole car, and it has some problems. What kind of problems does it have? The brakes need to be replaced, as well as the power steering. Is that all? That seems like an easy fix. That's not all. The alternator seems to be malfunctioning. How much is it going to cost me to fix it all? It'll cost around three hundred to four hundred dollars. That's not too bad. Is there anything else? From what I can tell, no. I would recommend buying it. Let me call the seller, and I will let you know if you can start. Great. I can start right away if he gives you the thumbs up. He said that it's fine. I will be back for the car when you're done. Negotiating a price with the owner. The test drive went well. How much are you asking for? I'm selling the car for ten thousand. Oh wow, that's a little steep, don't you think? What were you thinking? Keep in mind, it's in perfect condition. Well, I would want to take it to my mechanic first. From the test drive, what price are you thinking? I was thinking seventy-five hundred. I can't do that price. I've put a lot of work into this car. Let's cut to the chase. What's your minimum price? I can let it go for an extra grand. So you would let it go for eighty-five hundred? Yes, that would be fine. Declining to buy the car. 
So what did you think about the car? It was a good test drive, but I need to think it over. Do you have any questions or concerns? I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm going to purchase this car. If I may ask, what didn't you like about the car? I don't see myself driving this car. Is it the price? Let me talk to my manager. We might be able to lower the price. It's not the price. I just don't think it's the right fit for me. Would you like to see another car at the dealership? I'm sorry, but I didn't see any other car I liked. Well, thanks for considering our dealership. If I change my mind, I will let you know. Thanks. Deciding to buy a car. I have finally saved up enough to buy my first car. That's great, dear. Do you have a car in mind? I want a Honda Civic. I like to drive stick. Have you been looking around? Yes, I checked online. I have also been to some dealers. You have to be careful when you go to dealers. I know. They will try to take advantage of people. Yes, you should take somebody that knows about cars. Yeah, I'm going to take Joseph. He knows everything about cars. Good idea. How much are you planning to spend? I have 20 grand. Wow. Are you going to pay for the car or will you be making payments? I was thinking about making payments. I don't want to get stuck without cash. That sounds like a good idea. Buying an appliance. I can't believe the coffee maker broke. Well, it was pretty old model. I guess it did last quite a few years. We should buy a new one. Do you want to buy the same model? Maybe it's time we upgrade. What do you mean by that? Well, now we can buy a better coffee maker. What did you have in mind? Maybe something with more functions? I would really like an espresso maker. It's settled then. We'll buy a new coffee maker. Negotiating a price. Excuse me, sir. How much for this lamp? I'll sell it to you for $50. Oh, no. That's way too expensive. What price did you have in mind? Maybe something closer to one-fourth that much. I might as well give it away for that price. What about half? That's still not enough for a profit. I'll give you $30 for it. Make it 35 and you've got a deal. All right, that sounds good to me. You sure drive a hard bargain. Buy furniture. Hey, where are you headed? I'm going to choose some furniture at Ikea. Are you redecorating? Yeah, I'm tired of having mismatched furniture. What are you planning to buy? A couch, a coffee table, and a reading chair. Won't that be expensive? There's a great sale going on right now. Oh, that's great. You'll get good prices. I hope I find what I'm looking for. Will you have it delivered? No, I borrowed a pickup truck from a friend. Scheduling a delivery. This is the perfect birthday cake for my son. What day do you need the cake? His party is on Saturday. Would you like to have it delivered? Oh, yes, please. Some time in the morning would be perfect. I can have someone drop it off at 10.30 a.m. That sounds perfect. It's settled. Great. That will be $20 for the cake and $5 for delivery. Can the delivery man enter through the back door? Of course. Just write down your address, please. There. All done. I also wrote my phone number. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Trying on shoes. I don't know which size to get. Why don't you check your shoes? Sizes are different with each shoe style. I guess you'll have to measure your foot. How do I do that? There's a chart by your chair you put your foot on. Oh, I found it. Thanks. What size are you? I'm a size 8. You have a small shoe size for a man. It's all right. Shoe size doesn't matter. No, shoe size does matter. 
not delivered on time. Hello, how can I help you? I'm calling about your delivery service. What seems to be the problem? The delivery was scheduled to arrive over an hour ago. Your cake has not arrived? No, and I'm very disappointed. I'm sorry about that. We're a bit behind schedule. You know, I needed that cake an hour ago. I understand. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Will the delivery man be here soon? Yes, he will. And he will refund you the delivery fee. All right, thank you. Calling to reschedule a time. Hello, may I please talk to a store manager? Yes, what seems to be the problem? I scheduled some furniture to be delivered today. Would you like to change the delivery time? Yes, something came up and I won't be home until 3 p.m. That is not a problem, sir. I'll fix it. Thank you. I was worried it had already been dispatched. It's no problem at all. Please tell the delivery man to be aware of my dog. Does he bite, sir? No, but he may trip someone. I'll make sure they're on high alert. Trying on a new outfit. That is such a cute dress. Thanks. I bought it yesterday. Have you worn it yet? No, I have to accessorize it first. Did you buy everything you needed? Yep, I have a matching belt, a purse, and shoes now. Well, put it on so we can see it. What do you think? It looks nice on you. Are you sure it doesn't make me look fat? No way, it totally flatters your figure. Thanks, I hope my boyfriend likes it too. Getting things fixed. Thank you for coming so quickly. What seems to be the problem? All the channels suddenly stopped working. Did you make sure all the cables were plugged in? Yes, I checked and double-checked them. There may be some kind of signal interference. Is there any way you can test that? Of course. Give me a moment, please. Do you know what the problem is? Not quite yet. So you can't change the channels? No, not at all. Well, you'll be able to once you change the remote batteries. Shopping for new clothes. I need new clothes. What kinds of new clothes? I want something stylish. What do you want new clothes for? Well, school starts again in a week. Looking good costs money, though. I know what you mean. The stuff you're looking for is expensive. Yeah, I don't have much money. Maybe you should try bargain shopping. That sounds like something my mom would do. Hey, moms are good at saving money. Making a shopping list. I got my roommate today. That's great. When do you move in? I move in next week. Is there anything you have to take? Yeah, there are a few things. Write down a list so we can go shopping. All right, here you go. I'm all done. This is a pretty long list. There's a lot of stuff I need. I don't think you need a disco ball. Of course I do. It goes with the strobe light. Please write a more practical list. Returning a defective item. Excuse me, I would like to return this. What seems to be the problem? It's not working correctly. When did it start having problems? As soon as I took it out of the box. I see. Would you like to exchange it? No, I think I'd just like my money back. All right. Did you pay with a credit card? Yes, I paid with the store credit card. I'll return the purchase price to your card. Can I get any cash in return? No, you now have store credit in your card. Buying a warranty. I would like to buy this new laptop, please. Would you like to buy the warranty? What is a warranty? It's something that fixes your machine should it break. How does it work? If your laptop breaks, just bring it in and we'll fix it. How much is the laptop? 
It costs five hundred and fifty dollars without tax. How much is the warranty? The warranty is forty dollars for two years. I think I'll be fine with just a laptop. All right, but you can always change your mind. Where to buy what? Do you want to come with me to Walmart? What do you need to buy? I'm out of groceries. Groceries are expensive at Walmart. You really think so? Yes, you should buy groceries at the market. I also need some new blankets. Well, you'd buy that at Walmart. If Walmart sells both, why go to different stores? You'll save money if you do. Why will I save money by going to different stores? Stores have different prices for different things. Using the warranty. Hi, I need assistance, please. How can I help you today? My phone refuses to turn on anymore. It looks like it's short circuited. Well, I did drop it many times. I'm afraid I can't help you. I guess I'll have to use the warranty. According to your contract, you may choose a new phone. I'll just get the same brand again. Will you need the warranty? No, just have the phone. Make sure you don't go dropping it. Shopping budget. Check out my birthday haul. Wow, that's a lot of cash. My relatives were really generous. What are you gonna buy with it? Well, I'm going to save half of it. What? You could buy so much with this. I know, but I want to save some for later. Well, maybe you can still afford that new video game. No way. I'm going to stretch this money. How are you going to do that? I'm going to buy used games instead. Well, I guess a used game is better than nothing. Warranty expired. Excuse me. I'd like to use the warranty on my phone. What do you mean, use the warranty? The warranty promises a new phone if this one breaks. Did something happen to it? I dropped it, and the screen cracked very badly. It says here that your warranty has expired. What? That can't be true. I'm afraid it was only good for a year, sir. What am I supposed to do with a busted phone? Well, if you trade it in, you'll get a discount. Well, I suppose it won't hurt. I suggest you buy a longer warranty on this one, sir.